Homegrown Unplugged. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we're going to have more comedy. I hope you guys are having some butterflies in your bellies. And uh, I hope you guys are also full. But please don't make a mess. Because up now, we are going to have some TT Pasha. We're going to interview him afterwards. He's done his comedy. And we'll give more profiling to him. Give a round of applause to TT Pasha. You guys good? Awesome, awesome, awesome. My name is TT Pasha. As uh, he said, I am a comedian, radio personality, philanthropist, extraordinaire. I have no idea what those two, the last two mean, but I am them. One thing I hate is when people call me a DJ. I am not a DJ, guys. I am not a DJ. All respect. <laughs> All due respect to you guys. But, but me now, I have medical aid. I am, I am a radio personality. Uh, here's the thing, though. I, I, I don't respect DJing as a career. I, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I don't respect it at all. And the minute I stopped respecting it was when a four-year-old won a DJ competition. Do you know that guy? Arch Jr. He couldn't even make an acceptance speech. You won half a million. How do you feel? <laughs> they call it a career. I'm a radio personality. There's a difference there. <laughs> There's a difference there. There's a difference there. But I, I work for I work for Massive Metro. Uh, I think as most of you guys would know here. Uh, but if you don't know at home, I work for Massive Metro. Um, but I, I wasn't always at Massive Metro. 2017, I was at YFM. Started out my radio career at uh, Emalashini FM. It's a community radio station in Whitbank. Now, here's the thing about community radio stations. They're nice. It's where you build your you know, your experience, you, you, you learn things, right? Because you don't just start at the top. You have to start at the bottom, work your way up. The thing about community radio stations, the listeners. I used to do the breakfast show, right? But I would sit in for the Sunday romantic show. So you'd come in on a beautiful Sunday, you'd do a link, beautiful, three to six. It's Amal Ashini FM 98.7, the best companion in the city. Give us a call, 083-900-7908. Tell the one that you love how much you love them. We have an hour, man. Give us a call, 083-900-7908. Tell the one that you love how much you love them. Amal Ashini FM, hello. Slatha gelo umtana, slatha gelo umtana. Umtana geko mkachi. Beka koge peipuli. We apologize for that. <laughs> Give us a call, 083-900-7908. Tell the one that you love how much you love them. ATT Priam! You know there's going to be a problem right there. ATT Priam! Now I'm going to send you a shout out. I'm going to send you a shout out. Yeah, I'm going to send you a shout out. I'm going to send you a shout out. I'm going to send you a shout out. No, 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 no. Hello, TT! Yeah, la la la. La la la, when I'm going to send you a shout out. Loving Funu Sandy Shadapu, Shadapiam, Sandago, husband Yam, Gala Umzala Lengo Maratang, I don't ever want to see you again. So, yeah. you, so you're 33 years old, man. Hey, man, I'm a grown man. I am a grown man. I am as old as that turtleneck that you're wearing right now. Now, this turtleneck is still young, man. <laughs> <laughs> My turtleneck, I need to take it off because before, it, before it makes me. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I'm wondering. Like, what was the temperature when you left home? Which we don't call elders, no? No. so <laughs> traveling was, it was still messy out there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, let's get to it. So you were born in Limpopo, you then uh, grew up in Pretoria and moved to Vertbank later where your entertainment um, career had started. Uh, what was the journey for you? What, uh, have what? you been stalking me, man? What, what, how nah, how man. do you know these things? You know, must <laughs> <laughs> You do your research. That's yeah. proper, man. That's proper. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just been a long, long journey. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've been enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I was born in Limpopo. We moved to uh, Atridgeville, Pretoria West. That's where I lived my life. But I thought to myself that I can't just be a person that's born in the hood and then stay in the hood and die in the same hood. I was like, you know what? Let's go out there and explore and find out what's happening. When I got to Whitbank, I started discovering, you know, all sorts of uh, avenues. You know, that's where I joined radio. I started 
doing stand-up comedy. Um, yeah, my journey in entertainment basically started there. 